me today this is art with katie this time around i will be planning with you in the month of march as you know when we think of march we think of flowers and spring fever is rushing out of our hands and here we are ready for a new month and by the end of the month a new season so this is very exciting for me this time around i have a new topic that i've been looking at videos and sort of researching which is mendy i don't know if you heard about it but mendy is a body art that was born in ancient india it's a decorative design that cover all the body they made out of henna i look at them and i think they're beautiful so i wanted to incorporate it in my bullet journal hope you join me in this new theme for bullet journal so what materials are we going to use this time around? As you know, we need a notebook. If you don't have a bullet journal or a dotted notebook, don't worry. Honestly, any notebook can help us design and work through our journaling. If possible, I do recommend that you get a dotted notebook. I get them from Amazon. And there's a few options that are not that expensive. Another thing that I'll be using this time around are Micron pens through by Sakura. I'm gonna use the graphic one. I'm gonna use the 08. And I'm gonna use the 03. Okay, I'm gonna try to use this one as my base since I don't want my designs to look that um, boldy. I guess. I'm also going to be using other pens by Sakura, this time the Yellow Roll Metallic. For the month of January, I already used the bronze. For February, I used silver. So in this month, in March, I want to keep it simple and use the golden one. But I just have them handy in case I need a few more colors. I will be also incorporating, possibly, potentially, the use of a color pen. This is brown. It's a paper made in joy. Because it is brown, I think that it might look hennish. So let's see if I use it. I have it handy, just in case. I will also be using markers with the brush tip. So I have a couple of yellow some orange, red, and brown. Okay, I wanna keep the theme really consistent. So that's the palette that I'm gonna be using. So besides all that, just in case, I have some washi to help me out. I usually utilize a lot of washi tape, but I haven't that much lately, mainly because I've been hand drawing every design that I made into my bullet journal but um, these colors might work and I have them close to me in case I want to simplify my life basically and a little bit um, add a little bit to the design again in this month I'm going to be using color paper trying as you see to keep the same color palette that I selected for the markers This is also a way to add a little bit of color without complicating your life too much. I won't be using a lot of stickers this month, but just in case I have some handy. These I get at the dollar store. I just found these today, which I didn't even remember that I had. <laughs> these are really good to write titles on and then just put them on the top of the page. This is a nice resource to have handy. I also found these flowers that I haven't used in quite some time. I don't know if I'm gonna be using them. I bought them at Michael's. But again, they, they complement pretty well the color palette. So I'm gonna keep them close just in case that I feel a little bit springy flowery. And then last but not least, like I was telling you, I don't have a lot of stickers for this month, 
I remember that I had him around because of his tattoos and basically how cool he is. I think that it might work with my scheme that I have going on. But let's see. I have an idea of what I want to do, but it's not really that solid since it's something new that I'm trying. So bear with me and let's do it. And I know we're going to create something beautiful. At the end of the video, I'll show you everything that we've done together. Later.
So this is it. We finished planning for the first pages of the month of March, which I now am calling Mendy March. If you remember, Mendy is the corporal art in which designs are applied to the skin, and it was born originally in ancient India. Hopefully I did the description correctly. So this is my cover calendar for the month of March. As you can see, I kept it really simple just uh, added some color through the colored paper in which I wrote my calendar. I really like how the metallic color of the pen like makes it stand out. 
I think is a really nice touch uh, of color here and it's quite simple and I enjoy it doing it a lot for the next couple of pages I of course have my memories I think I told you that I what I do in my memories my memories page is write a few words that um, reminiscence of feelings, events, activities that I do. This is a word page that I work on. And I really like how this turned out. I think it, it complements the page a lot. And then here it is, my quotes page. I like reading a lot. I'm an avid reader. And of course I have to write down the quotes that I liked of the books that I read that month. What do you like reading? Do you have any recommendations for me? I'd like to hear from you on what do you read. So let me know in the comments below if you have any recommendations for me. And I've, I follow my pages with the photo memories. So I really like how this layout turned out. I'm a little bummed because the thing is I bought this new memory for my camera and sadly something happened that it didn't record or it record but it didn't save what I recorded so my tech team which is my husband of course <laughs> is trying to see if he can save it or restore it and well right now I sort of lost a little bit of hope there but well if it is meant to, it is meant to be I really like how this one turned out so hopefully I can share with you how I created it as you can see I kept the consistency of colors and even if orange is not my favorite color I, I have to say that I really like how it turned out um, in this setup well what's the difference between memories and photo memories well basically the photos in here I put photographs whether in here I just write words so in this page you will be seeing my favorite pictures of the month probably you'll see one or a couple that I'll, I'll take on March 6th at Festiva I'm visiting uh, Edinburgh that has a big event, a community event if you're near please go and attend it's a really nice event and I'm gonna be there promoting um, some of the books that I wrote so it'll be pretty cool and I'm sure one of those pictures is gonna come out here the final page that I have for you it's my feelings so in this one I just use the orange paper here and it can it, it makes it stand out a little bit with the golden on the top and just a few many details again it's not quite heavy on the design it's pretty simple at least I think it's not that complicated Considered I've seen other pages that are really beautiful and artistic. These ones are pretty and artistic, but not that um, elaborate in design. So I'm really happy how it turned out. I'd love to hear your comments regarding my setup for this month. And I also wonder if I should put a little bit more color on the March or the calendar page. What do you think? Should I add a little bit of color to the flowers or just keep it as is? I'd like to hear from you. Thank you very much for um, joining me in the planning of this, of this month. If you remember the materials that I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't use quite as much. I, of course, use color paper, which is easy to do and you don't have to color the the whole page in one color. I used stickers as in labels to add some some titles. I really recommend that you have some handy and they're not that expensive. I bought them at the Dollar Tree. Honestly it's a really easy way to put a little bit of um, extra detail in your journaling without doing a lot of things. So. From the pens that I had, I used these three, the Sakura Pigma Micron 08, the Sakura Pigma Microns, and the Sakura Pigma Graphic 1. So this is the thinnest and this is the boldest. These I bought in a um, package that came together, but you can also buy them separately. 
I think I bought them at Office Depot. I've also seen them in Amazon. Buy the package and you can also purchase them individually in Office Depot, Michaels and a lot of stores. So these are excellent pens to have handy. Another pen that I used by Sakura was the Jelly Roll Metallic in color gold. I really like how it turned out and it makes the design stand out so much more. Honestly, I had um, metallic pens before, but this is, this is the first one that I think really, really fills the space and it, it looks solid, if that makes any sense. And out of uh, the many colors that I have chosen for my brush pens or my markers with brush tip, I only use the orange one. I try not to incorporate a lot of colors so I wouldn't get lost in designing <laughs> instead of really planning. So all the washi that I had and all the flowers that I had I didn't use, but this. And of course, pencil, eraser, scissors, glue, and a ruler. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today in the planning of March. I hope to see you soon. I'm really interested in reading your comments. Please leave something, even if it is just to say hello. Please make sure to like my video and share with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be posting a video every week. If there's something that you like for me to try, if there's something that you like for me to share with you, I'm all ears. Thank you so much for joining me again, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.